good morning <sighs> welcome or welcome back to the channel if you all clicked on this video then you very well know where i am headed i'm so super excited the time now is about 7 45 and i have been on the road for roughly about an hour so driving right now through tennessee tried to share some of the amazing views. It has been a while, about three years since I've made this trek to Nashville. And today we're going to Shelbyville, obviously to go to the uncle nearest distillery. So excited. So let's get on this drive. We've got about three hours left, so we need to get to it. I just made it to the distillery. I'm super excited and it's hot. Okay, it is 81 degrees, but we moved. Um, I knew that it would be warm. Obviously, we're in Tennessee. I took my hair down, did my makeup, changed my outfit. We are ready to roll. I just hope I don't bake out here. I'm probably just gonna wrap around my shirt. Probably just gonna wrap my shirt around me because it's just gonna be hot and I do have my fan. So hopefully that'll keep me cool. I am excited, but I'm also running up against time. They ask that you arrive about 15 minutes early so I'm gonna hurry up and get on over so I can get checked in see y'all soon sent over his head chef. So Chef Jay uh, now works for our kitchen. Victoria Edie Butler, who is our master blender and great-great-granddaughter. 
of Nairs Green, and then Miss Sherry Moore. So we still mention Miss Sherry Moore. She's no longer with the company, uh, but she was one of those first four women. She's found her replacement, who is a woman, uh, but she hadn't hit her two-year mark yet, so she's not on the wall. So we have Miss Pond, uh, Miss Cake, Miss Victoria, and Miss Sherry. So okay. Is our, we don't have anything it's compared good. to. All right, on to the next one. We're going to do a slight jump. We're going from 93 to 100 feet. Now, one of the rules to whiskey is the higher the proof, the smoother the whiskey. All right, so go ahead and take a sip. Let me know if this one is smoother and softer on the palate. A sip. A sip. Okay. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm checking in on the instructions. <laughs> It's a little more stout, it's, um, it gives you a longer finish. That's a Tennessee hug. Um, <laughs> so welcome to Tennessee. And it is softer on the palate, it's a little sweeter. A little better than 1884. 1884 is what I call my sharing Y'all hanging in there? <laughs> a little drop of water does help. A little drop of water, okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so 1856 is 100 proof, and this is the year Uncle Dears perfected the Lincoln County process. Around this time was when Jack Daniel came to the farm uh, and he taught young Jack Daniel how to make whiskey. <laughs> well, listen, let me go ahead and give you the rules to this uh, tasting room. There's absolutely no share. If you do not like what you are tasting, leave it exactly where it is, and we'll take care of it later on when you guys walk out of here. <laughs> Secondly, there are absolutely no to-go cups. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't sneak up out of here. We have to remind people all the time that we have the world's longest bar here. Yeah, right. If you need another sip, I promise, the slogan for the yeah. restaurant is everyone has a seat at the table. <laughs> all right? So, what well, we have a massive win. Y'all ready for the massive win? Y'all still need another second win. I need another second. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, but talk us through talk us through the master blend. What are we about to get? I need, I need now, a little prep work. Master, now, uh, master blend is what we call our liquid gold here. And Miss Victoria takes great, great, great pride in, in blending the master blend. Now, uh, of course, she blends all of these. They're all curated by Miss Victoria, our master blender. But this is the one that won her master blender of the year. That's a huge accolade in itself. But she's the first woman to ever win Master Blender of the Year in history. She's the first African American to ever win Master Blender of the Year. And we're really proud of Master Blender. How y'all feel about it? Oh, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me explain. <laughs> it smells great, though. It, it does. Great. But I like the okay. And it okay. is 122 proof. <laughs> So, like I said, one of the rules to whiskey is the higher the proof, the smoother. Yes, sir. Uh, eighty-five, eighty-five. This is going to be seventy-five percent. And the round. It reminds me of the like the maple bourbon that we had. You got it. This is a shot combined. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. All right. Master Blend, all right? Then it tastes good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fill the travel. Tennessee whiskeys. By definition, they've been filtered, they've gone to brand new barrels, 
they're at least 51% corn. It's 100% rocks, so there's no corn. It didn't go in a brand new white American oak barrel, it went in a American oak barrel. And then we aged it for four years and then double barreled it and put it in our old 1884 barrels. It was distilled at 140 proof, not made in the state of Tennessee, and it did not go through the Lincoln County process. Mm -hmm. So it's literally the exact opposite of what a Tennessee whiskey is. It's a little spicier. It does not grow very well here in the state of Tennessee. With all of our beautiful farms and agriculture, we can't do anything about onions sprouting up in our crops. So onions are one uh, ingredient that you do not want in your whiskey. So we outsource all of that uh, up north. Every company, Jack, George, uh, Old Dominic, everybody outsources their raw whiskey from up north. Mm. So Miss Farm found a company out of Canada. They aged their uh, whiskey in New York in barrel houses. She went and leased out their barrel houses for the next eight years. Whatever whiskey that they produce in the next eight years, aged it for four years, we bring all of that down because it's all of our whiskey. Uh, when we take it out of those barrels, we put it in our 1884 barrels for another 30 days because we've got to get that New York smell off of it. <laughs> and it have a little Tennessee flavor to it, and then we bottle it from there. That's a, that's a common question. Uh, people are like, okay, so your whiskey distillery is two years old. How do you have a six-year-old whiskey? Or how do you have a 10-year-old whiskey already? Did you start aging before you knew you were going to have a company? doesn't make sense. Uh, so people, there are three companies in the United States that make whiskey all day long, and they just wait for somebody to come and say, hey, this is my mash bill. What do you have that's close to your mash bill? Uh, or what do you have in your brick house that's close to my mash bill that I can purchase? You'll buy barrels until you build a still, and you make your own whiskey. Right she gave a, it's okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So rye is not for everybody. Typically a lot of people that don't like the first four, they like the rye. And then people who like the first four, do. and that's I was like, I'll go for the Most of your rye is like 50% rye. My tongue is right the bread. It's I can't feel my tongue. It's, it's like a yeah. That's what it feels like. I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave that right there. Committed back to you all. <laughs> 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 Not a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Now, which way do I go for the, uh... All right, y'all. Just blew a bag. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But just got my bottle engraved. I'm about to go see if I can come up on this grilled cheese.
North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, from Raleigh. Yep, how about you? Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, okay, yeah, not too far. Not too far. You Did you come up for the day? I think I'm gonna try this grilled cheese on crack that I keep hearing about. Um, I don't think so on the desserts. I don't want to put myself in too much of um, a situation. I am driving a long distance <laughs> home. Um, so I think I'll go with the grilled cheese, but between the smoked sausage and the chicken, right? Because there's a choice of meat, right? Yes. On it? Okay. Uh, no, Which would you prefer? Is the sausage, okay. Surprise me. One of the two. Okay. <laughs> uh, whichever surprised me with that as well. <laughs> That's it. To go, please. Alright, y'all. I got the world famous grilled cheese on crack so we're gonna see how it is and then I'm gonna take my things and get on the road. Let's go. Okay, y'all, I know I am <laughs> lopsided and everything, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to check in with you all and just let y'all know how the Uncle Nearest Distillery was, y'all, everything. When I tell you, I am so glad that I went, like, so, so glad. Um, I wanted also to share, and I'll talk a little bit about why once I get, like, situated, but wanted to share just my, like, first bite of this grilled cheese on crack or my second bite rather because I already started the woman that was helping me I let her decide what all is on it so I'm not sure what she came up with it looks like it's American cheese and the smoked sausage fine by me they gave me this mustard based sauce and a barbecue sauce a mild barbecue sauce so pretty good on first bite but let's get into the second one so I can really give y'all a true you know true roundabout uh, description of what I am tasting. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Lord. I think I just got all sausage <laughs> in that bite. Mm. But it's good. Mm. There's some pepper jack in here, I think. Because I see the little, like, red flakes in the cheese. Do y'all see that? I probably sound so fat smacking like this. That's good. That's good right there. Definitely a must visit. Packed with so much history, black history, woman history, black women history. American history like this was just the perfect opportunity to come and expand on the knowledge that I already had specifically about the family um, the green family but also about Fawn Weaver who I was introduced to on the cover of the American whiskey magazine like years ago <laughs> Um, when I was shopping in Whole Foods, I literally picked it up and I was like, who is this black woman sitting with a, you know, um, a, a glass of whiskey? I was like, let me find out. And I have been sold ever since. Y'all know I love whiskey anyway. And I think I have been encouraged to be a woman in whiskey, to be completely honest. 
Like, what can I do? How can I, you know, how can I um, be a part? Because this is just, it was phenomenal. It was, it was just, a, it was, you gotta go. So if you're ever making the trip to Nashville, then definitely like rent a car, drive out to Shelbyville. It's about a 45 minute drive, I believe. Or if you just want to trek it like I did and, you know, from wherever you are, um, if it is a drivable distance for you, then take the drive, take the drive because everything like it was just it was a great experience and not like your traditional or typical museum experience. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it packs so much more, so much more. So anyway, I am oh, <laughs> I am going to get back to this grilled cheese. And I'm gonna touch base with y'all later because we have about a seven hour drive ahead of us if I decide to drive all the way home tonight. Let's get it. Oh, can you see me? It is getting dark. Um, but I just wanted to come on and talk to y'all. Hold on, let me pause Kyra. Oh my God, y'all. I've been letting like vlogs play while I'm driving um, and just listening to them. But it has been so hard to just listen to Kyra's vlogs because she's in her bag right now. The videos is good. The editing is top tier. It's A1. Um, so... I'm really enjoying her vlog right now and catching up and just seeing what the YouTube girlies are up to. Uh, it has been refreshing to just see what other creators are up to and what they're doing and how they're navigating their their channels and, and, and sharing and their influence. So I'm still on the way home, y'all. But I wanted to show y'all that I did pick up the Amazon Bottega Dupe or Bottega Style sunglasses. And I'm actually pretty in love they are really cute I wanted to wear them today but I felt like I had a lot going on and trying to manage and you know all the things it was just a lot so I didn't wear them with my hat but that would have absolutely taken my outfit to the next level so I would definitely recommend that y'all go down to the description box and check them out because I have linked them there they're also linked on my Amazon storefront so um, you can go you know shop there I am on my way to Asheville have about five hours left of a drive before I get home. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of recap, I think my experience today. I was originally supposed to be coming to visit a friend in Nashville and he had a personal emergency um, or a family emergency or something. We were gonna hang uh, for the weekend. N maybe not even really, we were probably gonna co-work more than anything because we both had some work to get um, done and I was gonna go to Uncle Nearest. And um, for work, I've been this week in Asheville or near Asheville in Hendersonville actually. So I was halfway to Uncle Nearest. And so I decided today, or really I decided probably a couple of weeks ago that I was definitely gonna go to the distillery and do the tour and tasting. Once my friend said, hey, conflict in schedule, I was like, okay, do I still wanna go? Like that's a big hike, like that's a, you know, a long road for me to be like traveling alone. And something in me uh, this week, especially probably because my week wasn't as much fun as they typically are when I'm in the city or like near home, I was like, girl, treat yourself. And I'm so glad that I did, y'all. I had a ball and I had a ball by myself. And let me just say, like, I am not a stranger to doing things by myself. I just often prefer not to. Like, I would much prefer to do things with other people because I'm just extroverted and um, extrinsically motivated uh, many times. Like, I really do enjoy people and especially those who mean most to me and doing activities with them really make me happy. But today was not one of those days because obviously I didn't have anybody with me. I met some cool people. I met a group of young ladies from Boston. Um, the tour guide was super dope. He is a, what are you doing bro? He's a sneakerhead. He said he's sitting on like 350 pair of sneakers, um, which is wild. Um, but he said he got like 350 pair of sneakers and like 10 that he'll never DS um, or that he'll never un-DS. And yeah, we were just talking. We were having a good time. Everybody was enjoying themselves. I was learning so much. Like I have always imagined like what life would look like if I were a woman in whiskey. 
especially because I was introduced to whiskey when I was in college. Um, of course, after I turned 21, no, but I was introduced to whiskey. And at the time, the culture of whiskey was very much Southern Bells don't touch that, you know, we don't woo woo but like my grandma put me on moonshine you know what I mean like I'm I'm from that crop of, of girls who drink the strong stuff and so um it is not lost on me that there are women who look like me who are interested in whiskeys blending them being in business around or about them all of the things and so today just really affirmed me set some different business goals for myself or encouraged me I'm just I'm full. <laughs> I'm really full. Uh, and so, yeah, I just wanted to share that because sometimes, like, you really got to do things. Sorry about the focus, y'all. But sometimes you really got to do things literally by yourself and for yourself. And it's not always going to be, like, somebody's not always going to be called to go with you. It was nothing but a blessing. And I pray that everything is, you know, well on my friend's side, um, that his family is all well and everything worked out but it also worked out just as it was supposed to over here. And that that is what I appreciate. I just had a blast, a ball. I'm glad I went. I'm glad I did not deprive myself. I'm glad that I went. So do something for yourself, treat yourself, especially on the cusp of my birthday. I'm always reminded that this is a great season to do that, to celebrate myself, to do the things that I know and that I love. And I just wanna urge you all to do the same. That's it. That's all. I don't know if that's the end of the uh, video, but also don't forget to check the description box for these little cuties because they're a vibe. Like, I probably could have worn this. I just felt like I had a lot going. Like, that would have been cute, too. I just felt like I had a lot going on. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think of my fit down in the comments below. And yeah, let's get on this road. I'm about to stop and grab some gas and then we'll get back on the road.